Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I've just wound up finishing 100%. Uh, the next video I post will be showing that. But one of the things that really makes Red Dead Redemption 2 an incredible game is the richness of NPCs, characters, and encounters you can deal with. And from simply patting a dog to uh, well, meeting someone multiple times and interacting with them, it's kind of what gives Red Dead Redemption 2 that sort of quality that you want to play it again to see what else you can find. So let's get on with some encounters and characters. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Hello there. All right. Nice to see you again, sir. Did you change your mind about donating by any chance? We could really use your support to improve the lives of our veterans and their families. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. <gasps> That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged. Arthur chooses to make the donation and not loot the box. When you come back as John, there's something interesting. The memorial hall is complete, and if you walk up to the front door, there's a plaque. And on that plaque is something interesting. Arthur Morgan's name is second on the list of contributors after Nicholas C. Conrad. So then you have Arthur Morgan. I didn't get uh, John to say the name for some reason, which I guess I should have inspected. And yeah, I keep inspecting and John says nothing. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. One of the characters you end up meeting is a guy called Gavin's friend. His real name is Nigel. You can interact with him as both Arthur and John. And I think I missed one of the interactions, but I'll show you the five I caught. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad. As Arthur, you can encounter him four times, and as John, too. And like I said, I think I missed one with John. So this is Arthur's second encounter. Partner? Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? No, nope. but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up, and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! All a bit too much. Oh, I am so worried. Gav! 
Yav! Uh, Yav! Where are you? Where are you? Gavin? Oh. Has anyone seen Gavin? Hello, mister. Please, tell me you've seen Gavin. I don't even know what he looks like. Big bloke. Cockney. Londoner. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, we've had such times, me and Gav. <laughs> Nope, sorry. I've yet to meet any hilarious Londoners. Oh, he's the best. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Well, howdy now. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Hello, mister. This is ridiculous, mate. You're telling me. Might be time to call it quits. You what? Have you gone mad? I love that boy. Big bloody dope that he is. No, no, I'll find him. Oh, he's, he's probably just off on a spree if I know Gav. <laughs> well, good luck. Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Now, the next one is with John, and again, I think I missed one. I wasn't recording, or I may have deleted it before I went through the entire video recording. So, yeah, this is John's interaction, and I think it's the final interaction. Good morning. Oh, I remember you. Listen. Have you seen, um... Gavin? You still on this? Yeah, yeah. It's turned into a right bloody rigmarole. <laughs> I told the trouble and strife I'd be six months. It's been seven or eight years now. I'd have stopped after seven or eight days. <laughs> oh, box his ears when I find him. No, I won't. I love that boy. <laughs> Gavin! Where are you hiding? Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Blackwater, the new boom town. After this interaction, I never bumped into Nigel again. The next one is called Gun Idiots, and this is the second one I captured. Oh, I've been waiting for the day I got me one of these. It sure Ooh. is pretty. You want to see how fast? Mm -hmm. Ready? Anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think that was quick, but... Watch. Oh, almost too fast, huh? Whoa. <laughs> Did you even check to see if that thing's loaded? Ha! <laughs> Look, I'll even cover my eyes. Now that don't seem Ooh. like a good it's idea. It's all about instincts, Stop. not smarts. Oh, oh, you shouldn't have been standing there. 
Yeah, I encountered idiots in, I believe, Strawberry, and some guy got shot. Yeah, these guys should never have guns. This land of equality is a sham and a disgrace. Good morning. How are you? Morning, dear. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Yeah, I know a lot of guys end up hog tying her and feeding her to the alligators. I'm not doing that. Maybe next playthrough, and then I'll show it. So let's continue on with our characters and encounters. The next guy is called Poor Joe. He can be encountered twice by Arthur and once by John, and that's it. You go away. Mister, I thought I told you to go away. You did. Well, you haven't. Why would I listen to you? You're a hermit. I am not a hermit. I'm the king. The king. If you want to know where to find them on the map, I'm going to show you right here. And it's right, it's to the west of Willard's Rest and right by the uh, legendary moose and elk symbol. If you saw the area on the map, you kind of got to wander around a little bit to find them. Now let's deal with, John, uh, with uh, Arthur's next encounter. Hey there, partner. What do you want? I'm not sure. Well, then become a king. Well, I didn't know what I wanted. Then I realized I could become a king. <laughs> I've been happy ever since. His majesty is always happy. You're happy with the trees? Elated. <laughs> In a regal sort of way. You peasants wouldn't understand. Hey, partner. Are you friend or foe? Friend. Well, then pay homage to your king. <laughs> I'm the king. Uh, how... How do...
do I pay homage, oh great ruler? I don't know yet, and I've been king for years. Well, <laughs> please let me know whenever you find out. Well, then there's this Reverend in Strawberry. I didn't record Arthur's encounter, but I got John's encounter. So let's take a look at that. And you can too. Literally explode. Because with everything I know, I am literally the happiest man alive. Hey, partner. Hello there. Hi. Many are called, but few are chosen. Blessed are the goats, for they shall be the meek of human kindness. I think. You say so. Oh, I do. I really do. Then there's a scientist in Ansburg called Malcolm McIntosh. We are learning new and exciting things every day. But the universities have tried to silence me. I can make a woman have a two-headed baby by managing what she eats during conception. Of course, this is a power I will never abuse. This kind of information in the wrong hands could and will cause a dreadful commotion in the next hundred years. Think before you buy into their lies. Hey there. Did you read the book? Well, I opened it, but I didn't understand much. That's more than most. Much more than most. It was kind of interesting. Did you like the bit about the baboons causing the downfall of ancient Rome? Uh, yeah. yeah quite brilliant, I think. Yes, it's one of my more outlandish theories, but it's quite, quite true. I'm thinking of another volume. Well, there's another volume of a unifying theory of scientific knowledge? Yes, I, I know it needs a new title, but I've got a great bit about how this new craze for dental hygiene Whoa. will make our pets homosexual. Huh. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now this next guy in Strawberry you can encounter as Arthur or John, and you can interact with him. If you follow him, something interesting happens. This damn con man sold me a serum made from rhino horn for a little problem I've been having. It didn't work, so I took it to a pharmacist. Turns out it's just water, table salt, and flour. You gotta help me find the bastard. Ah, uh, right. So, uh, which way'd he go? Not sure. I reckon he's hiding in town somewhere. I'll keep looking here. If you can check the other side of the river. What's that smell? Hey there. Sell any miracle cures lately? Hear that rhino horn is real hard to come by. Shh. I get it. I get it. Just keep it down, will you? That limp dick sent you here, didn't he? He's a vile man. I did the women out here a favor. Hey, 
Hey, partner. How do you do? Your swindler's waist deep in shit over behind the woodworks. Okay. I'm gonna make him drown in that shit hole. Now you can choose to walk off and move on, or you can follow him. And yeah. This guy is definitely a nasty dude. Oh, to chop your pecker off, you goddamn book of artists. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Mm, I mm, worked mm, for the other customer, I swear. Did you take it like I said? Shut your bone uh, box. Uh, Brown uh, horn, uh, my ass. Uh, you uh, sold me heart attack uh, and bottle. Uh, 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 with me see what happens let's see you sell your rhino bunk now <laughs> listen seems not that was gonna happen to him sooner or later it's like i was never here you never saw me okay you lose a little honor if you don't interact not a big deal the final encounter is if you go on bounty hunting missions and you bring the guy back alive uh, several in-game days later, if you're in town, you might witness a hanging. We are gathered on this very solemn occasion to dispense justice. Ladies and gentlemen, without justice, we're no better than animals. And you, for your crimes... Justice has come. Come on already. We gotta give him the show. Well, Mark you Johnson, seeing you work through, huh? A brutal and fearsome criminal his entire life. Go straight to a hell. man who thought he could just leave his outlaw past behind and become a rancher and family man. Well, the law don't work that way, Mr. Johnson. A yeah, changed go for man it. does not change the crimes. He committed. <laughs> we it. are what we've done. You can't outrun your blood. All right. Without further ado, pull the lever. God. Remember, all of you, Rhodes is a parish of law and order. With me as sheriff, well, that's I guarantee well, that this law and order will be well, served. Well, I brightened up my day. Hello. And that's it for characters and encounters. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.